What's up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Comar, PA. If you're ever in the area, come and check us out. So in this video, we're gonna run you through three sandbag workouts. Before we get to those workouts, guys, uh, watch the other videos linked above, but I wanna briefly talk about the sandbags that I have here. And this is kinda like my sandbag graveyard. We have a ton of sandbags going from 50 pounds all the way up to 350 at the, uh, right now <clears throat> and different makes and models. So these are our brute force bags, okay? These are nice because they come in smaller and larger sizes. They have a ton of different handles, so you can do things like cleans with them, you can row them, you can throw it on one shoulder, do stuff like that. So very versatile bags, and like I said, I like them because they come in different sizes. So this one, you can get a lot heavier than this one. But once again, these are brute force bags. Then from there, we basically have our traditional style bags. Uh, which we have some Bells of Steel bags. This is a 50 pounder with a little bit of a handle. We got Cerberus. We have uh, some Rogue ones as well. Um, but these are great for pretty much anything and they're just easy to use and maneuver. Over here we have a Rogue. It's basically shaped like a Husafel bag. So if you guys are training Strongman, this is a great bag to use. Um, then once again, we have these bigger guys as well. Reason I like sandbags is because they're easy to use, okay? Great bang for your buck, it's worth the investment, and they're easy to make. So if you don't wanna get any of these brands, you can get a duffel bag, get creative with it, throw stuff in there, you know, you got a sandbag. Uh, but I do think these are worth the money and investment to do. The other thing is, they're awkward, okay? I'm a big strongman advocate, and I like awkward odd objects, so these do the trick for me, especially when you're picking something up that's awkward. You're working a ton of little muscles throughout your body that you're normally not working, you're working on your strength and you're working on your cardiovascular endurance as well. So a bunch of different things you can do with them. Highly recommend them. But like I said, check out those other videos I've made in the past and I'll give you more in depth breakdown of these. But for right now, what I wanna do is get right to the workouts that we're gonna be doing that you need to try. All right guys, so the first workout we're gonna do is gonna be an every minute on the minute workout. If you guys have been following the channel, you know I love EMOMs. And what this means exactly is that we're gonna have three movements, okay? And on each minute, you have 60 seconds to complete that movement and the reps allotted to that movement. So the first one is just gonna be a sandbag run. You can go anywhere from 50 to 100 feet. And I say 50 to 100 feet depending on your ability and depending on how heavy the bag is. Obviously a really heavy bag, 50 feet is gonna give you a great stimulus. If you want more endurance, go the longer distance. But we have to make sure that we get it done before that minute ends, just for that exercise. After that, we're gonna move over to exercise number two, which is gonna be bag over shoulder. Now for bag over shoulder, I want you guys doing anywhere from five to eight reps, once again, depending on ability and how heavy the bag is. And we wanna complete that before the next minute. And then lastly, we're gonna do sandbag squats. So we're gonna actually do it in a front hug fashion. Um, we're gonna do anywhere from five to 10 squats and just see how that works with the weight and your ability. And then we're gonna rotate through that again for anywhere from that 12 to 15 minutes. So if you guys are doing three exercises, 12 minutes, you're doing four total rounds. If we bump it to five or 15 minutes, we're doing three exercises for five rounds, okay? So very scalable for where you're at and what your goals are, uh, but this thing is definitely gonna be a ball buster. All right guys, so for this setup, I'm using three bags, different weights. If you don't have three bags, just use one, that's fine, and just accommodate for either distance or reps for those exercises. But for the carry, I'm using a 150, I'll go down and back. Then uh, once we're doing bag over shoulder, I have 100, and then for the last uh, squat variation, we're gonna use a 50 pound bag. So basically we have like a heavy, medium, light, and that's how I'm gonna use this in this scenario, but let's get right to it. So that took me about 20 seconds. So I'm resting 40 seconds on the clock before I go to the next one. So you're not doing all of these in one minute. That would be absolutely brutal and insane. Maybe we'll do it later. But for this one, just stick with one per minute. Uh, 30, 30 seconds for eight reps. That's a good spot for me, 100 pounds. I'm gonna stay there. So I got about 15 seconds now before I'm gonna start doing some squats at the 50. All 
All right, so I have on the board 10 to 15. For me, 12 reps, solid. I'm going for 15 minutes, so four more rounds of that. It's gonna be pretty brutal. As you get more fatigued, that clock is gonna slowly get chipped away. So we wanna to try to keep everything on the minute, but it's okay if you're losing a little bit of rest time. We just don't want you failing on that minute. If it does, take a rest uh, round, recover, get back into it, or reduce the reps a little bit. Hi right, guys, so second workout of the day we're doing, it's gonna be an AMRAP style. So this is basically, you rest when you need a rest, you're setting the clock for 15 minutes, you're getting as many rounds in as possible. So for me, I try to pace it out, so I'm moving pretty much the whole time. If I need a little bit of rest, I use it on the transition to the next movement, okay? So we're gonna start with five lunges per leg. I'm just using 50 pounds. I'm gonna work on my work capacity. From there, we're gonna go five thrusters. So we're squatting, pressing it overhead five times. Then we got 10 hand release push-ups. And then from there, we're gonna do a carry. But for this carry, we're gonna put it on our shoulder. And we're gonna go down and back with the same shoulder, switch shoulders, down and back. So just a different type of carry, you know, very functional for those of you guys that are doing yard work, construction work, right? We throw things on our shoulder just like so. So it's gonna translate very well over to practical real life situations. That's gonna suck. That is a brutal, a brutal workout. So, 15 minutes, as many rounds as you can get. I guarantee you're gonna feel accomplished. So, let's go, let's get another round. All right guys, so this third one we're gonna do is our last one. It's a little bit more equipment specific, but I'll give you some alternatives you can do if you don't have what I'm about to mention. So, we have our yoke. Okay, yoke has some weight on the bottom. This is gonna be our sled. Uh, so yokes have multiple purposes. You can even put J cups on it, use it as a rack. You can load stuff over it. You can do yoke carries. You can use it as a sled. You can pull it. Very versatile piece of equipment. Highly recommend it, especially for home gym goers. We have our sandbag. We're gonna use a 150 sandbag. And then I'm just using some kettlebells for some farmers, which you'll see in a moment. So this is a fun conditioning routine that I like to do because it mimics strongman. It's a little bit different, and like I said, it's just fun. We're all about having fun and training for the long haul here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this bag over the yoke bar, and as I load, I'm gonna let it kind of fall a couple feet forward. From there, I'm gonna push the yoke past the sandbag and then reload it, okay? And I'm gonna do this for about 50 feet. Once I get to the end mark, my uh, farmer holds are there, so I'm gonna pick them up, I'm gonna walk down and back, and then I'm gonna push this thing back doing the same thing. Now, I like doing this for rounds, okay? So basically it's gonna be uh, work rest ratio one to one. So however long it takes me to complete, I'll rest that same amount of time, and then I'll go back anywhere from five to six rounds. So let's crush it. Right, guys so just finish that up it took me a little bit over a minute so i'm just going to rest that equal time right now and i'll go through that probably about five more rounds uh, so if you don't have a yoke you could simply do a regular carry down uh, or what you could do is do a couple over the shoulder then carry it down and then grab your farmers go down and back uh, so 
Very simple adjustments you could do. Also, if you don't have a yoke, you have a sled, you could do some over the shoulder, push the sled down and back, do your farmer carry. So it's more just the concept of what we're using muscle wise, how we're doing it in terms of rounds, uh, making it different from the other ones, but you can plug and play with whatever works for you and whatever set scheme that you're looking for. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this sandbag video. Like I said, I've done a few more in the past that seem to do pretty well. So check those out that have been linked above throughout. Uh, and if you guys need any programming, as always, feel free to check out the description below. We have a lot of programs on the website. We also have a Discord channel, okay? There's a lot of people in there. It's growing steadily. We have a lot of cool conversations going on and then events specific for the Discord members to come to. So we actually have one coming up here at the gym where we get people traveling from all over, getting to meet, train, hang out, bond, and have a great time. Uh, so check that out. Make sure you join the Discord. So until then, guys, stay a lean, mean strength machine. Make sure you like, subscribe to the video. Check out my man Sebastian on the cam, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.